news today's news on the hour presented by indeed.com i'm monica ricks in new york Auto workers are still protesting outside the big three today, including Ford in Michigan. we got to reach the deal one way or another. We've given up so much over the years in the last few contracts. This is the only way we're going to get it back. we got to do what we got to do. Workers are also st outside Stellantis in Ohio, which just announced layoffs today. A lot of people would like to see nothing over the 40 hours mandatory, um, have it be more optional. And we're also uh, trying to get some of the record profits back in our pockets from the uh, CEOs up top who are taking it all for themselves. The unions promise to expand strikes if there's no deal still by Friday. In Hollywood, writers are back at the bargaining table with major studios. KCAL TV's Tina Patel has the latest. The Writers Guild has been on strike for more than 140 days now, and there have not been a lot of productive talks with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers during that time. Writers are hoping the fact that the studios have agreed to return to the table means that they recognize the cost of the strike is too great and that this needs to come to an end. Writers agree, but plan to hold that line until they get a fair deal. The Federal Reserve skipped an interest rate hike today. CBS's Jill Schlesinger. The economy continues to grow. Interest rates will stay higher for longer. Really great news if you're a saver. Really rotten news if you're a borrower. But overall, this economy has performed extraordinarily well throughout the pandemic and post-pandemic. COVID cases are rising again. And next week, CBS's Matt Piper tells us you can request more home test kits. The Biden administration says it will spend more than $600 billion to buy tests from a dozen manufacturers. COVIDtests.gov is where to go starting Monday, and households will be able to receive four tests. Twelve years after repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the Pentagon's working to restore benefits to thousands of LGBTQ service members. CBS's Jim Axelrod. We are being told today by the Secretary of Defense, we acknowledge, we see you, we hear you. You have been treated in a manner that's unjust, and the Pentagon is going to take steps to rectify that situation. Only a fraction of those forced out of the military have successfully changed their discharge records. Public libraries are now targets of a conservative book banning effort. Here's CBS's Allison Keyes. At the American Library Association, President Emily Drabinsky says of the nearly 700 challenges to library materials and services so far this year, challenges to books in public libraries accounted for 49 percent. Conservative lawmakers and some parents have been banning books across the nation, many of them involving race and saying some are inappropriate for young people. On Wall Street, the Dow lost 76 points today. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Well, this is a no sight to see. I know that. I'm going to turn around right here very carefully. I tell you what. You gotta be very careful this part of Oakland because no one here has insurance and you don't know whose car is whose and but what I'm gonna tell you right now is I'm gonna go back this way. Somebody has been in an accident. So we'll see if this video camera will catch it. I'm gonna break out my phone and do a little narration, but yeah, here you go. I'm gonna keep driving here and uh as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. So here's the deal. I'm here on this street and I was making a Dash Cam News Adventure video. And as I was coming around the corner here, it looked like somebody got in an accident. So I'm going to break out the camera here. I don't know what these guys are doing, but here, let's get up here. I'm going to show you what happened. <clears throat> these people are just doing something. I don't know. But as you come around this corner, you can see there's a moped on the side of the road and all the debris. So I think this lady, yeah, she's picking it up. There's someone right there. Look at all the debris right there. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, they were in an accident.